So this week we learned we built sea perches. So we gradually, from when we built them, we had new concepts every day. So starting on Monday, we built the body of the sea perch. So it was built of PVC pipe um, and a few other pieces of electrical tape and, a few, and some floaties. Sea perch needed to, we called it flinking. So it, we didn't want it to sink or we didn't want it to float. So then it could have um, the best, it could move around the best throughout the water. So our first concepts on Monday were density and buoyancy, which is the force um, that keeps an object floating. So it's the force up on an object, whereas the gravity is what pulls it down. On Tuesday, we went on to mounting the motors that actually made the sea perch move. And so we talked about electricity. A lot of kids know what electricity is, but not how the electrons move. So we talked about all the different parts of the atom and how the electrons move throughout materials and um, create electricity. And so after we um, mounted the motors on Tuesday, we also wanted to see what materials were actually conductive. And they found out that copper and materials like metals um, are the best for that. Now on Wednesday, we actually built the control box that actually controlled where or how the sea perch moved to control the three motors that were mounted onto it. With this lesson, we talked about switches. So just like a light switch, um, we talked about how that, it, that exact concept is used on our sea perch. So after we learned about switches, we played around with some squishy circuits, which uses Play-Doh. And so Play-Doh is conductive also. And on Thursday, we actually went in depth more about the motors. So they had put on the propellers for the motors. Thursday, we also troubleshooted our um, sea perches. We needed to test to make sure they actually worked. So after we had soldered the control box, that was the main problem we were having. So that maybe two motors were working and the third wasn't. So we have to go in, reopen the control box, and re-solder a lot um, of the wires into the actual control box. And then on Friday, we actually went and had a competition and tested our sea perches. And in order for this competition to work, we had to have them pick different objects up that we put in a pool. So there was balloons, there was whipple balls, there was different paper clips and things on the bottom of the pool that they had to pick up also, so they need different appendages um, throughout their sea perch. Maybe they had hooks on the side, some put magnets on the bottom so that it would pick up anything that was magnetic across the bottom of the pool. And whoever picked up the most objects throughout the pool won. Yeah, we picked up a lot of stuff, but our um, propeller came off, so we had to adjust it. We put super glue, fix it. Wait, wait. Like the little machine. Yay! Good job, Dad. Oh, 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 I like all of what we do here. You know? So, for the, our sea perch, we kind of thought of the idea of making like a basket right here, kind of like a shovel, and we would attach strings to it, through it, so we could pull it up and scoop the things into it. But what we didn't really think of was how it would get stuck in the propellers. Oh, I learned about buoyancy and uh, buoyancy, which is how light an object is in water or a fluid um, and density and uh, about electrons and uh, current which is electrons moving how much is packed into wire and voltage I learned a, a whole lot of stuff in this week that I couldn't have learned anywhere else I think it was good that the high schoolers it was a lot of hands-on so they built it I think it was rewarding for them for them in the end because they had built a robot, and not most of them had never built a robot before. Building this was fun. It was a good experience to learn about engineering. Yeah, and science. And the electricity and how it all works together to get it moving. So I'm very interested in science, and you know, I want to be an engineer and a pilot, so 
right? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good job. Just camp in. Good job. And you're waiting to test your robots, right? Yeah. Those skills are, I think, in very high demand. And um, as I think as we look at young men and women as they're graduating, not many are choosing to do that. So this is why this program is hopefully get them excited, let them see what opportunities are out there. Not just in the Navy, because we use kind of a Navy theme for this iridescent lab um, for the sea perch, but, um, but just in, in general to get them excited about um, you know, engineering and math and, and the, the possibilities for a future doing that. The opportunity to come by and see these kids and talk to them is really, really cool for me. I think their mission is, you know, promoting science and engineering and technology and the Navy is, is actually recognizing uh, that effort and we are doing the same thing. So if we're doing the same thing, so why not partner with Iridescent and, and support them any way we can. The Admiral was very impressed with uh, what the kids are doing, uh, getting their hands on and building a sea perch uh, robot and uh, engaging with the student and the staff and see that the program is working. Iridescence is here to, to try to increase awareness of the science, technology, engineering and math concepts to our younger generation. It's very important for the young people to get excited about those fields so that they can keep up and learn and, and advance the technology in the country. The, uh, what we found here in the United States is that if, if the younger people don't get exposed to those concepts, the engineering and math concepts early in life, that it's harder for them to, to grasp or to get interested in science at a later age. And the way technology advances so quickly now, where you can buy a phone today that's out of date six months from now, it's very, very important for the young people of, of the country and of the world to, to stay interested and to stay uh, um, educated in, the, in those fields.